adding prompts to reports enables interactivity. Let's report viewers customize their report content and focus attention. The simplest least effort method is to add parameters to report filters and allow Cognos Analytics to generate the prompt page. In this video, you'll see how to create filters using a parameter and the best practice for naming parameters. Parameter names are bound by question marks in Cognos Analytics. A best practice is to put a lowercase p in front of the name to identify the field is a parameter. To start, I need to create a simple list report. I'm going to use the one column template, and in this report, I'm going to use the blue theme. I'm going to use the coffee sales and data marketing data module in samples. I want to add an interactive filter for product group to my report. Selecting the product group column, filter icon, Now that the filter expression has opened, I can drag product group onto the expression definition. I've identified to Cognos Analytics what my parameter name is by wrapping it in question marks, and I'm using the best practice of preceding my parameter name by a lowercase p. Now that my filter expression is complete, I can click OK. Notice with the usage, I have choices of required, optional, or disabled. I'm going to keep it as required, which means I'll have to provide a product group value in order to run the report. Let's see that. Cognos Analytics has generated the prompt page for me. I can see my parameter name with the P product group, and I can see a pull down that's available to me with all the product group values. Notice the red asterisk to the left. That's the indicator that this is a required parameter. When I click a product group value, the OK button will light up and I can run the report. This completes the video on how to create a simple parameterized report. Documentation for IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is available online. The video description below contains links for topics covered in this video. If you would like to try what was demonstrated in this video, you will find the data in the samples folder in Team Content.